So, <clears throat> hello. I'm continuing to, to do something. And I that I should turn off the music. Yeah. So, what we have done on the last uh, episode, there was a 3D model of that building. And what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to, to find out the, the concept art for um, look and feel art actually for, for the Sure Cat project, which I'm developing right now. And uh, here is my suggestions. Uh, there was a two concepts, two references which I have connected with so I'm using the machinarium reference as a main thing to do because I really like the whole that feel of uh, art style here and uh, how everything actually work and another thing it's uh, settlers assets from the settlers where I just need to work a little bit more where I just took a concept of all that uh, wooden planks and all sort of things so yeah let's continue maybe uh, what I have been here Actually, uh, ooh, uh, uh, what I'm having here, what I'm having here, what I'm having here. So, yeah, first of all, I would love to, to just. To make a colors maybe firstly on that concept this one yeah uh, so first thing what I really want to make here is to add the colors so I will I would love to, to make those like that Hmm. I think I should make a render of that thingy. But for just have have um, so what I'm doing right now. So I, I'm trying to make uh, different colors for all kind of objects here to just uh, to work as a mask for, for those guys to work as a, as a mask to work to create different kind of masks Even here we can just break down to the wooden parts and the other parts just to do everything faster yes for example um, this kind of color and here I will add this thing with the with the with the with the, with the red one yes Red one is good. And the roofing. And the roofing stuff as well. Yeah, let's let's work a little bit with, with the roofs. Roofs they could be actually green too. Or no, it's much better actually to, to have their own colors for let's 
Mm. Maybe purple. Hmm? Yeah, purple is nice. And the metal parts, maybe this one. And it will be it will be white. And uh, what about this water thing? What about that? I feel that we should make this sign with the green color and this thing with the red color. Yes? Okay, it will work for sure. I believe that. That's yes. Ah, so I can put here this thing. And if I will remove this thing here, I will have a thing of pretty flat colors now. Not so flat now. Uh, render setup. Where's my render setup? Render so can we just remove the shadows? No. So yeah, okay, then I will just do it like that. It's not really tough process, but it just take time. Like that. Yes? Exactly what I need. So now you can see that I have everything in different colors. No, oh, not all actually. I need to make these things too. Like, like that. So, and now this uh, file should work for me as a mask. As a mask. And uh, how I will work with this stuff, I will just add it here. This one and that one. And this should go here. And I believe that they should be pretty, pretty similar. Or it's not really efficient, if not, actually, yeah. So, mm, I will remove that one. These two guys will go here. And what I'm he having here right now. So, I have um, different colors for the different guys. And now I can work gently with uh, all the pieces together. For example, now I can add a color. Um, the surfaces without worrying about the other parts of other surfaces. This is a really important thing for now um, to work with. And uh, of course, yeah, I just just work with the my brush. Just adding color. Oh no! Huh. How stupid I am! I'm working on the on the same layer as I have. So once again, start doing. I'm not worrying so much right now about some uh, some parts like that, for example, because I will just fix most of these problems a little bit after after I just finish with, with the coloring the coloring process for me it's, uh, right now I think it's most important process because we have a lot of things actually inside our scene and uh, most of those things should be pretty Pretty colored and consistent with, with each other. Yes. So, 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 so. Have a good.
grass here everywhere here should be the grass and then what else so let's just make a little bit of uh, yeah right now, for now I will work on the flat colors only just to make everything a little bit uh, faster than it could be yeah. and what I have here so yeah now I will work with the planks I want to add a color for the planks for example I will add simply something like that <clears throat> pretty basic cream color what color yes and uh, here we can actually change the colors to to color to color yes I will just add uh, colors to the to the surfaces for now. And, uh, I need to go here and work with the roof. And with the second roof, but I don't have a mask for it. For it. That's not so good. But I will just make it by the selection. So yeah, and. I will say again that all of these things actually it's a part of the concept creation and that that means actually that everything what I'm working on right now is just a concept which partly could be transform it into into the into the real 3D models but yes uh, maybe I will do this thing like that because if because I I not really like the idea to use the the color the color thing for the color blending option for for the parts yeah. uh, what about the photo I don't know right now I should do something with this guy I believe that I, I just need to, to give uh, color to him like, like just a white color or something Yes, you should sit here. And uh, what else do we have here? Uh, let's just open the concepts. So yeah, we have a door. Here should be the door. I believe that it should be with a different layer. So here, this should be the door. And uh, all that stuff, actually, the pinkish one should be not exactly as it is right now. So it should be more orange. Yeah. Like that. 
much more orange. Eh. Why well, can't actually leave this part here? This is strange. But okay. So all this part should be orange. And this wooden part should be uh, brownish, I think. Uh, can I use magic wand selection? Like that, yeah. This thing should be brownish, yeah. And now, what about what about all the roofing stuff and the grass stuff? Other stuff. So basically, what I'm thinking about right now, let's see. <coughs> it's about concepts. So, yeah, let's now work on, de on details, maybe. Or maybe I can just make a copy of that layer here and add a little bit of levels for this because I don't know, I don't really like amount of shadows for now. There is too much contrast. Too much contrast. Or maybe, maybe that's enough for now. For now, that's enough. Yes, yeah, so let's see here what we have here. And what we have here. Uh, I believe that first of all, I just need to make some kind of uh, old-fashioned... Um, Old-fashioned roofing stuff. So yeah, if we will see, I will put this uh, reference to the second screen because it's not really good actually to, to see everything in one monitor. Yeah. So for now, I just really want to, to make here everything So again, this looking stuff it's still pretty pretty hard to do actually. I will just steal some colors for now. Oh it's not, it's a long wire again. About that, yeah. So the main reason why I still actually colors is because I don't know. I right now I just working mostly on the forms. And the colors for me should goes really really fast. Yeah, like that. And if we if we have here this summerous effect maybe I should make a line up first yes so looks like it should be here at some point but I will just try to to test how it will looks like let me change the display this one yes let's do let's do the line line art work 
because for now we, we're just experimenting with everything we try to, to communicate with the idea to make it actually uh, in the right so maybe even better to make everything slightly transparent just slightly yes uh, to to communicate with, with my lines a little bit much better and also there is uh, some better brushes like a pencil then yeah. I will use this kind of brush that Hmm. It doesn't work well, but but still it, it works somehow. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> um, what what we have here? Maybe 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 I just yes. Just make it. Texture bigger, lighter. Yeah, now, now it should work better. So yeah, it, it actually work, but it's it's work not so good because. I would like to, to actually to, to, to draw several times one line to achieve only one one line. <laughs> yeah. It's such an interesting idea to, to make everything like a pencil drawing, but I actually not really understand how to implement all this stuff in 3D. But I still keep in mind that maybe, maybe I will just make everything as a post production things maybe I will just add uh, maybe I will make a 2D uh, scene with the event occlusion or something maybe maybe why not I'm not sure yet but uh, the proof of concept should be done for for today I think and yeah I really really want to, to to see how it looks like in the end because for now I'm not really happy with the result I know that it's, uh, it looks pretty rough but I'm keep trying to figure out what else we can do with that kind of brush and what what we could do with, with something else so the roofing <coughs> we have here this kind of pretty pretty big this roughing bricks bricks like that mm. 
Yes, actually, it's, it works somehow. I feel like it uh, looks pretty cartoony for now, but but still, I don't really understand how to how to implement all this stuff into the Unity. Yeah, this process actually is a pretty, pretty hard and I feel like I just add the music right now. <laughs>
Thank you. 